It's been debated lately around a lot of dinner tables. Should employers be required to provide free contraceptive services to their workers? Tonight in Nashville, Catholics and evangelicals joined together, saying their consciences are under attack by the Obama administration. Others, though, say this is not a religious rights issue. It's about access to health care. Channel 4's Nancy Amons now with our story. Well, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services created a firestorm with this issue. In fact, today in Washington, the House Judiciary Committee heard testimony about the contraceptive mandate. Now, here in Tennessee, one Southern Baptist leader told me this has united Catholics and evangelicals. He calls it, quote, a liberal's worst nightmare. A panel discussion at a Catholic campus drew so many people tonight, they moved it to their biggest auditorium. The speakers came from different religions and occupations, but share the opinion that the Obama administration's contraceptive mandate is a threat to religious liberty. It's about coercion. It's about forcing people to pay for that which they find unconscionable. The Southern Baptist Convention has 200,000 employees. The mandate would require them as employers to not only provide free contraceptives, but provide free morning after pills too. Many evangelicals consider those abortions and therefore morally objectionable. And no the Obama administration mandate has been denounced by 181 religion. Catholic bishops who say faith-based employers like religious hospitals, for example, should not be forced to violate their own beliefs. It's not necessarily a Catholic issue. It's an issue that affects um, a good part of the fabric of our society. But there are strong voices in support of the policy. To Planned Parenthood, for example, the mandate ensures that women will have access to contraception. People are trying to make this about broader issues when really this is about health care. It's a topic that has touched a critical nerve, and it's already the subject of lawsuits across the country intended to fight the president's plan. I think those lawsuits have a very strong chance of succeeding and that we will see this uh, particular mandate struck down by the courts. Now, today in Washington, Attorney General Eric Holder defended the controversial contraceptive mandate. He said the federal government's legion of lawyers will follow suit. Demetria. Nance, thank you. It's